So let's start by opening up Router01, and we've already downloaded our uh, program that will do our network monitoring. Now, Microsoft has replaced the Microsoft Network Monitor with a new product, and let's just go ahead and take a look. It's called Message Analyzer. All right, let's go ahead and run through the installation. It's pretty simple. And it looks like it's an email message analyzer, but really it's any kind of message that tries to come in to the server is analyzed. So don't let the name fool you. And while we're waiting for that to finish, let's go ahead and switch over to our Windows 8 computer and double click on Nmap, which is again that's the Zen map version, which is the GUI. So we'll just go ahead and choose all the defaults. Just let that go ahead and install. This is going to be our attacking computer. For those of you who would rather use Wireshark on the server side, that is certainly an option, and you can get that from download.com. Just make sure you don't accidentally install the spyware that goes with it. And just make sure you uh, check the boxes that you're about to agree to that you don't accidentally agree to a lot of the spyware from there. All right, so we can update if we want. We're not going to update right now. That's okay. We're not going to participate in anything right now. Go ahead and click OK. And our analyzer is starting up. And our Windows 8 Nmap is just about done as well. Just agree to whatever it is that's on there. Uh, it's fine. WinPCAP is a program that gets installed, which is normal. All right, our uh, Windows Message Analyzer is ready to go. So there's a lot of different features on here, and I really encourage you to check them all out. But we're just going to go ahead and uh, do one particular thing that I think will get your uh, appetite going. So let's click on the New Session in the upper left-hand corner. Then let's go ahead and click on Live Trace. Now we need to select our network card, otherwise it won't have anything to trace uh, from. So let's go ahead and choose our local network interfaces. It'll choose both of them that are on there. Remember the router one has two different kinds. Now let's go ahead and click start. So we're gonna get uh, information from both the internet and from uh, our local computer as well. So right now we're seeing uh, internet uh, traffic and things like that, as well as internal. So we'll just go ahead and let that go. And we'll switch over to our uh, client computer. All right, so our Zen map or Nmap program is good to go. So let's go ahead and put in the IP address of router01. Now let's start scanning for vulnerabilities. Click scan. All right, it's checking stuff out. It's seeing if it can find anything. Remember, the firewall is on. Uh, on our router 01, but there's probably some open ports going on. So it's doing all kinds of uh, scanning to figure that out. So we'll do it both with and without the firewall turned on. All right, let's go back to here and we can see from dot 75, which is our client computer, we can see the types of uh, attacks that are going on here. And if you uh, look closely, you can see you know some of these are ARP requests, which is just a ping type of a thing, so that's no big deal. But now it's looking for looking for all other things. It's looking for all the open ports. See, it's going through each of these open ports one at a time until it finds a vulnerability. So if you are uh, on the receiving end of attack, you can say, hey, I need to block. I need to go to my firewall or something like that and block access from this .dot seventy five because it's clearly scanning my network for vulnerabilities. Um, and if it gets through, it'll it'll give you. Uh, other information as well such as that it made a connection now we go back to our attacking computer so this is our uh, black hat computer here so it says hey I found an open port on port 53 for DNS I found a port 135 for file sharing I found port 80 for web and 445 uh, for uh, Microsoft file sharing the encrypted service uh, so it found, and it found some uh, ports in the upper range open as well so uh, that's pretty cool you, you can actually see you know what's open, what you can now take advantage of. So let's uh, go ahead and stop it for a second here. We'll cancel. All right, and now let's go back to our other computer and let's go and turn the firewall off. Now you should see a lot more traffic. So let's open up a control panel. And 
we'll go to turn windows firewall on or off we'll turn off off and off click ok alright now let's go back here and let's scan again and now this time we should actually see more ports open by the time it's done uh, because there is no firewall that's blocking us so it's going to take a little bit of time but eventually we should see a lot more traffic going on look at that a lot more open ports all right so uh, if you have more services installed then you'll have even more open ports um, so uh, you definitely want to keep that firewall on and then if you decide to you need to you can go to the firewall on uh, the server that's being attacked and start blocking those ports as well so when we're done we can just go ahead and click the stop button and you can see look at how much traffic this thing has built up in just a few minutes time and just pages and pages of traffic so if you wanted to you could um, export that to a file and you know save it save it you know, just by clicking the save button here and go through all these different logs and and take a look and see and and then you can re, you know remediate any of these issues